Hello boys and girls. Uh, I just wanted to create a quick tutorial to show you how to get into our science online portal. So in science, as you know, like last year, we use Science Fusion. So some of you might be familiar with signing in to Science Fusion. Um, however, I want to walk you through it step by step. So if you click up on your search bar, and you enter in Think Central um, and just hit go. You'll find this first link is K to 6 Think Central. You're going to click on that link and it's going to bring you to this screen. Um, you're going to make sure it should have all this information in there for you Ben Salem Township School District, Samuel K. Faust, and it's going to ask you to log in. I am going to use Maya as an example so that you'll be able to see what it looks like on the student end. So you'll enter in your username, which is the same username that you use to sign into your Chromebook. Your password is going to be the same password that you use for Imagine Math, Imagine Literacy. It is your student ID number, so it's that one followed by five zeros and then you have th four more digits after that and you're going to click login. This is the first page that you're going to see. There's some things in the online portal that we will utilize and there are a few features that we will not. We're not going to utilize the my scores. The big thing that we will be using is my library and things to do. This will kind of appear as I assign you different lessons so you're going to click on my library as that's the one we're going to use the most and inside your library you're going to see you have a couple different options here um, the one that most of us are going to jump right to is over here on the right hand side it should be in the same location on your computer science fusion student access english grade five so that's the one that we're going to use However, some of you that might not be as fluent in English and would prefer to hear the lesson in Spanish, it's also right here for you. Um, and it will go through and look exactly the same as how I'm going to present it on the English version now. Um, let's just see if there's anything else that we have to kind of go over. I don't see anything else. This electronic student edition, if you were to click on that, it will open up your book. This is the same book that you received at orientation. So you could look through the hard copy version that you have at home, or if you like the digital version better, you're able to look at the digital book here as well. All of the information that's presented to you in your science book is also in a digital presentation and that's what we're going to kind of rely on and use most. So if we click here on Science Fusion, it's going to take us to this page here. I also on the right hand side of my screen left in that important login information in case you get confused. It's still available as a material on your Google Classroom. Don't forget if you need to use it for any reason. This is what should um, populate once you click there. So it looks like we have one unit and go all the way to unit 15. Looking at the, the calendar for the school year, we might not get to all 15 units. Um, and there'll be some days where I assign work from our Science Fusion website, this online portal, and there might be also articles or things like that too. So if you were to click here on unit one, you'll see that there are six lessons. Um, and on the right hand side, there's also the digital lesson. That was the online or the digital presentation I was telling you about. It takes the information from our workbook and puts it into a digital lesson. It's a little more interactive. Although we only have six lessons scheduled for unit one, we typically in fifth grade teach science for two weeks and then we wrap up that unit, we take our assessment, and then we go back to social studies. So most of the time you're gonna have two weeks of science and then two weeks of social studies. Any of the work that you complete in this platform, this Science Fusion platform, does not get sent back to me, the teacher. 
Um, however, you will have a Google form that will also be attached to your lesson, and it'll just be a series of questions so that I can see if you understand the material that was presented that day in the lesson. So let's take example, or let's take a look at this example for lesson one. Welcome to the lesson, What is Science? Did you know that not all science takes place in a laboratory? So as you can see, it jumps right into the lesson. Um, while you're going through this lesson, there's going to be different pages that you will flip through. Some of the pages will have you manipulate things or move things around, while other pages might have you enter in a few sentences describing what's going on. So as you go through, you'll see that some of it will be listen and follow along, and then there'll also be other sections, and I'm trying to find Let's one exam for you. Science. So here's a good example where you're going to click on each one of these um, hyperlinks, these images, and they will take you to and give you some information. Scientists can conduct controlled experiments. Also, when you get towards the end of your lesson for that day, it's Do going you think to that can... imagine that you conduct ask you questions. So here's a good example. There's a question at the top, and you'll select your answer. Um, once again, this information is just for practice. It's for you to apply the concepts and ideas that you've learned about that day. Um, and at the end, you are going to see that there is a summary page. The summary is a really important part of each lesson when you're going through those lessons. Uh, the other thing that I want to show you is some days you'll have a lesson, but other days you will have a lab. So let's click back out of this and let's take a look at lesson two and it says virtual lab there in green. So if you look and you click on that digital lesson on the right hand side, it's going to load your virtual lesson for that day. Welcome to the lesson, How Do Scientists Learn About the Natural World? As I mentioned earlier, there's going to be parts of this that you're going to have to manipulate, move things around, and there's also um, a lab that you will see. I'm going to fast forward. In this simulation, you... to this screen. This screen is a great example of what it looks like when you get to the virtual lab. Some of the virtual labs can be very difficult. Um, some of you have seen this in previous grade levels and you have to kind of click and figure out what things you can move around, what information you can add. I don't want you to get too overwhelmed by the science lab. If you find that it's very frustrating, I want you to spend about 10 minutes on this particular part of the lesson. Um, and once again, I'll assess how you did when you fill out your Google form at the end of the lab. Let's keep going and see. Now run the simu Now run the simulation. Be sure to follow the steps you wrote in your plan. Record the results in the data table. Choose a gibberellin amount. Remember to keep it constant throughout the experiment. So as you can see, there's going to be certain times where you have now run to the simulation. finish an activity or a simulation in order to move past it. Um, I'm going to hit ignore and move on and see if it allows me to move. And I'm going to move back to page 8 as it asked me to. Make a prediction. What do you think will be the effect? A famous group of scientists. Here's an example of when you'll have to select an answer and hit submit. Scientists often follow... You've learned a lot. Of and once again, at the end, you are going to have a summary. This is where you really want to pay attention. 
if you wanted to jot any notes down in your digital notebook, which is under your materials in your Google Classroom, you could do that as well. I hope that this helps you get logged in and set up for Science Fusion. And if you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of me. Have a good one, guys.